Okay, I'm back. I couldn't wait. I'm actually going to do my ice cream test right now. And I'm following a recipe I found on YouTube. So I've so far filled both blenders with um, four ounces of flavored syrup, in this case raspberry. It was really easy to figure out the four ounce line on the Blendtec with those dark markings. On the Oster, it actually took a little bit of me figuring that out. So I'm just filling this up now till we get to six ounces. Two, so four ounces of flavored syrup, two ounces of half and half. Oh boy, so that puts us at, hmm, just under 200 milliliters. So I hope that's gonna be just about enough. And the 200 milliliter line would be right about here. So that looks like it's just about enough, basing it on the blend tech for what the ounce uh, markings are. Okay, so this recipe calls for a quarter cup of like a protein powder. So quarter cup here. And we'll put a uh, quarter cup into the blend tech. From what else the recipe required? It said you could put a couple pieces of fresh fruit, so I've already split these so they're even. I'm putting two, um, sort of one fresh strawberry. That's a frozen banana. So I don't know if I should adjust for the ice ratio based on the fact that the banana's frozen. I do not have any fresh banana. So I'm calling that, that was like about just under one cup of liquid. So I'm going to put sort of just under three cups of ice because it should be a three to one ratio. So one cup of ice, two, maybe I'll do two and a half-ish because of the fact that I have the banana. So it's not quite a full cup. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. I'm just trying. Okay, so a cup of ice. Two. And a little bit more to make it half. Very little. Just trying to sort of eyeball it. And I hope that's good. Okay, so I'm going to take the insert off of the lid for the Oster because I'm certain I'm going to need the plunger. And, well, let's maybe just do one at a time. Or I'll start both of them at the same time. We'll just see how it goes. I'll put the Blendtec lid on. On the blend... Oh, this actually... No, it doesn't have a dessert setting. So I'll do it manually. But on the Blendtec, it has ice cream. So let's press that first. lovely how that puffed up. They talk about the four mounds in there. Let's uh, get you to see the inside of the Blendtec. That's how the Blendtec looks. And now let's uh, do the test. Here we go. Total faith right there. It's upside down. Open lid. Wow. Ice cream. Let's test this. Oh, it's not as frozen actually. I don't know if I did it too long, but it's not quite as frozen. It's slipping down. Could be my fault. 
although I do believe I added the same ingredients. So, without further ado, let's do the taste test. Let's uh, see, I guess what I'm going to have to do is either put a little more ice in the oster in general, or maybe it just makes a softer ice cream. As someone pointed out, it did say on, in the recipe book to actually put it into the freezer. So that's the oster. And this is the blend tech. Definitely uh, harder ice cream. Okay, so I just I just tasted the blend tech from here. It tasted really good. And mmm, the oster is nice too. Just beautiful soft serve right there. Mmm, love it. So, I've already got ice cream made for later. I'm putting it in the freezer. Mmm, so good. Both are delicious. Mmm. Really liking that the blend tech is a bit firmer. Yesterday, my ice cream with the Oster was firmer as well. So, I don't know. Maybe it's both so good. Maybe the blend tech proportions just need to be slightly... I mean, so the Oster needs to be slightly different. Or just add more ice. Anyway, I think that the winner, as you can see right here, for the ice cream test is the Blendtec in terms of a firmer ice cream to start with, but they both taste fantastic. I'm going to put them in the freezer and I'm certain that that will make the Oster ice cream better. And later, I'll enjoy. Thanks for watching. Yeah, see, look at that. That's the Blendtec. So still able to come out nice and easily. Tastes delicious. Oh my god, that's so good. And the Oster. I mean, I don't know if I should try it again with um, more ice, but it's a beautiful smooth consistency. It's just not as, as hard. But for people who love like a perfect soft soft serve, this is amazing. Tastes delicious. Both will obviously make ice creams. And again, hope that video helped you. Thanks.